Something is going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day, fans. I tell you what, I hear that nerds as well, and I think, you know, that's just like so true to life. Because look at that, we have barely started, and we've got people watching us already, you suckers. There we go. All right, so uh, it is now time to talk about the year. The year. What's the year? So the year, we keep forgetting to ask people what year they want to pick in these episodes, but we've actually picked the year. MPS, tell us what year we're going with, son. We're going to go with 1990. So... What's that? Thirty years from now. Yep. Back. Thirty years back. All right. A lot of things happened in 1990. There was a lot of uh, war going on and all that sort of stuff. And uh, um, yeah, we're not talking about any of that because that's all sort of not happy stuff. So what we are going to talk about? Yes. Well, there's a couple of things that sort of relate to it, but we'll get to those in a minute. Moscow uh, in in uh, May. Uh, has its first McDonald's to be open in Moscow. So there you oh. go, in 1990. Oh. And then so you, mainland China has one as well, eight months later. So with the Russian one, you walk in and say, can I have a uh, Big Mac, comrade, or was it a tall beef patty, pet, spit a sauce, a lot of cheese, a little bit of a sesame seed bun, comrade. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> oh, I used to know that too, um, but anyway, go on. Go on. Oh, yeah, hot con. Uh, Nelson Mandela was released from prison after 27 years. Uh, Soviets, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev is elected the first five year term as the pre first ever president of the Soviet Union because that's when uh, that all sort of changed. So Russia changed, and, and um, later on, so did the Berlin Wall in Germany. How's this for interesting? It's not very uh, nerdy, but uh, 12 paintings and a Shang Dynasty vase collected collectively worth one to three hundred million dollars were stolen uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, and to this day have not been recovered. There you go. I find that sort of thing interesting. Uh, the space, the Hubble uh, Space Telescope is launched by Discovery in April. Uh, Joanne good. Rawlings, who's that? Yeah. Do you guys know who Joanne Rawlings is? Oh. She's the JK. writer of... Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter. She came up with the idea for Harry Potter while on a train in uh, 1990. There you go. And then published five, seven years later. Uh, Nickelodeon Studios open. Universal Studios in Orlando open. Um, here's a bit of uh, a TV one. The 1990 FIFA World Cup uh, in Italy was first broadcast on digital HD TV. So it was the first digital broadcast in, in history. But no one had an HD TV, so it didn't matter. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, the destruction of the Berlin Wall uh, by East Germany officially starts in June. Um, the first Pizza Hut opens up in the Soviet Union in September. Uh, here's one that they made into a film, which wasn't very good. And um, the film was called The Chase for Skase. Christopher Skase oh. uh, is a arrested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, what else do we have? The the earliest known portable digital camera sold in the US in November of 1990. The first known web page is written in 1990. Uh, tunnel works uh, from the UK to France uh, meet 40 minute 40 meters beneath the English Channel. So I like you can travel here. by car. Yeah, I don't know who this person is, but someone said in 1990 they dated a girl who looked up, liked to dress as Ace from Doctor Who. Tell you what, that would have been a pretty good girl to go with. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, move on. A uh, couple of actors, actresses were born in 1990, and these are, are comic book and sci-fi. Uh, Margot Robbie is born, the Australian actor, and Jennifer Lawrence. Um, I don't know, something a bit, a bit different. Yeah, you're right, Jared. Uh, you wrote down the... Two old beef patties, lettuce special. Oh, freaking hell. Because I'm on the camera, I can't say it right. I'll tell you what's funny, though. I finally were, was able to say that jingle after the promotion ended. So there you go. So I didn't get a free Big Mac out of it. So uh, lettuce, pea, cheese. Well, you couldn't say it. 
freaking hell. You couldn't <laughs> say two all beef patty pickles, sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on the Sesame Street bun. That's a shame. Well, not now, I can't anyway. So uh, there you go. Very good. Very good. That's good. Uh, all right. A few more things. A few more things. We've got uh, the satin range of cars. See, no airplanes this week, dude. Cars. Thank you. Uh, we'll launch both uh, An almost complete skeleton of a T-Rex is found in South Dakota. Uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is closed to the public due to safety concerns of it falling over, which, you know, really doesn't work, does it? Um, Microsoft releases Windows 3.0. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> The 16 megabit chip is shown for the first time. Uh, the first in-car sat-nav is sold by Pioneer. Oh, and go. now they're just commonplace, aren't they? Do you know where the sat-nav was originally you developed? The sat -nav where or why? Yeah, the sat-nav was originally developed by the uh, US forces for being in Kuwait. So, But that's another story. I'm going on a tangent, so keep going. In music that year, and you're going to love this one, Millie Vanilli, uh, producers reveal that the Grammy Award-winning pop duo were lip-syncing the whole time. There you go. Uh, yeah. And the 62nd um, Academy Awards, Billy Crystal hosted it for the 58th time or whatever it was, and the, the best picture that year was Driving Miss Daisy. It had nothing to do with sci-fi, but uh, still a car film. What can I Great. say? Very good. Is that it? What movies you got for us, yeah. dude? All right, cool. Now, I know, um, yeah. Jeff, you can uh, contribute to these as I chuck these in because I know we uh, you'll be caught short this week. Uh, someone mentioned about Next Gen was starting to air. Yeah, that would have been in Australia, not America. It started in 87, so there you go. Uh, obviously, it's been picked up already, 1990. Total Recall, a bit of Arnie's best. Eh? So when are we going to go see the movie? Two weeks. So um, uh, that was a bit of a classic. What do you reckon, Jeffo? I mean, I uh, was never a big fan of it. So, I mean, so many people go uh, nuts for for that movie, but it's just it's just lost on me. I just felt that maybe uh, Arnie was not really cast right. But uh, I'm in definitely in the minority because it is such a big uh, cult favourite. Very cool. And as I think we discussed uh, on Sci-Fi Zone, uh, the sequel is almost as good, if not better, than the original. Um, mm -hmm. there was a, there's only a handful of movies that I'm going to mention. Um, there was a movie that came out called The Dark Side of the Moon. And if you're wondering, hey, was that named after the Pink Floyd album? It certainly was. So that's how you capitalise on uh, something. It's like, okay, we've got a movie that could be a bit dodgy, but let's name it after this, like, this the longest-running album in chart history to try and cash in on it. And sure enough, that was the plan. I don't know if it worked or not, though. So there you go. Um Back to the Future Part 3, of course. The third one came out that year. So we're not in the future, we're in the past. So it's actually kind of funny. It's not Back to the Future, Back to the Past, really. But uh, that was actually a very, very popular film. Uh, Jeffrey, did you like that one at least? Uh, I mean, it's all the Back to the Future movies are, are really good. And, I mean, they if you were to watch them back to back, I mean, that would be the, the perfect uh, trilogy screening for me. Yep, I totally agree. Um, I didn't know about this one, The Handmaid's Tale, because uh, I know there's a series on at the moment called The Handmaiden's Tale, I think, but there was actually a movie came out that year with Robert Duvall and Faye Dunaway. So uh, apparently if you like your dystopian movies where uh, things are just completely miserable, um, yeah, that came out. It's like, phew, okay, didn't say that one. That would, would have been a 60s film in my opinion, but no, it came out in 1990, so there you go. Um, this one I did like, Flatliners, the original Flatliners with Keith mm. Sutherland mm. and Julie Roberts. That was a great film. Don't you reckon there, dude? Which, which ever dude? Yeah. Well, it's one of those movies that they're trying to get up and running again. So there's been a lot of talk in the last year about remaking that. So uh, I can't see it happening. It, it, it's a movie very much stuck in that period. Uh, yep. But, um, yeah, I mean, it would be interesting if, if uh, it's one of those remakes that we don't really want, but they'll go ahead and make it anyway. Yeah, because the main cast were in the prime of their careers at the time and it was like, yeah, it was just the symmetry was excellent. So it was a really, really good film. Really enjoyed it, actually. Um, this one I'm not going to really discuss much. Hardware. Do you remember, uh, Jeffrey, do you remember Hardware at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. Um, I remember there was a, uh, a big push and they were showing it at the Valhalla Cinema in, um, in Melbourne here. And for anyone that was uh, part of a fan club, they issued free tickets and they got in there and it's like they're giving away a, uh, the big posters and everything like that. And I sat there and I thought, um, no, nah, this is not even worth being a free movie. So um, I, I suffered through it. But uh, 
it's it's got a cult following. It's the movie that um, uh, launched Richard Stanley. So if you remember the recent movie with Nicolas Cage, uh, I think it's called The Colours of Space. So that's essentially the same director. So he he got his start with Hardwood Wars. Very cool. I love the idea that you go to a free movie screening and you still want your money back. That's just, I've been there, done that before. Yeah, that was, that was the case, yeah. <laughs> uh, three more for me. Uh, so Gremlins, uh, sequels, these are all sequels now. Gremlins 2, the new batch. So obviously sequels were the go in 1990. So uh, the old second Gremlins movie. Now, if you remember Gremlins, and there's a whole lot to talk about the second movie, there's a sequence where uh, one of the Gremlins actually grows bat wings, right? And it smashes out a window. And you have the Batman logo, but part of the logo was missing, and apparently they didn't have the rights to show the logo. So it's the old change it by ten percent rule. Let's cut the corner off, and that's how they got away with it. So uh, there you go. So very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, that's a film that probably didn't need a sequel. But you know, you got to make, you got to do what you got to do. So there you go. Um, another one, another sequel, Predator Two. So there we go. That was uh, in the city with Danny, Danny Glover, if I recall. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mind it actually. It was a bit, bit silly, a bit narky. Yeah, a good old, um, uh, oh, the guy who plays Hudson in uh, what's his name? Michael Bean. Hey, Ernie, Ernie. No, 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 not Michael Bean, the other guy. Um, uh, yeah, you know, somebody, somebody, somebody will mention it, but he's almost playing the same character as Hudson from Aliens. So, um, yeah, I thought that was quite, quite funny. And, uh, oh, yeah, is it Paul Reiser? No, no, that was. <laughs> That's the other guy off the gate. I've got to do it, 18 guesses to go. Oh, jeepers. I just got a complete blank. But anyway, so that was a good movie. I didn't mind Predator 2. I thought it was all right, actually. So um, yeah, even though we can't think of the guy's name who was in it. But <laughs> what did you think of that one, Jeffro? I thought, I mean, it was certainly, um, it wasn't disappointing because you do tend to sort of think the originals are going to be uh, uh, the ones that, so what was the answer? Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Oh, yeah. you know, thank you, yeah. Michelle. You get it right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, they're all got it. We couldn't get it. That's how stupid a we are. He's like, oh, freaking Paul Reiser. Seriously? <laughs> now, I'm, mad about, I'm mad about that, that answer. And we're so, getting yeah. pummeled by ans correct answers there. So everyone's throwing <laughs> out the correct answer. Just a oh, really yeah, so, ne so next week, So next week the show will be run by uh, Michelle, Daniel, and Colin. So we can have a week off and those three can come and do the show. Okay, now I'll tell you what. I oh, know it's embarrassing. Look, they're all coming out now. So, uh, you know, they're all reading each other's answers going, oh, it's Bill Paxson. I'll just write it in two to make us three look even more stupid. So there you go. But uh, now Predator 2 was pretty good. And, yeah, uh, yeah and I did I did like that, uh, <coughs> uh, that film. So it looks a little dated and a little bit cheesy, but it's still very, very enjoyable. And the last one I want to come up with, <laughs> a sequel, funny enough, Robocop 2. So uh, there's another movie that probably didn't need to be made, but they did, and I don't know. I don't know. Once you have such a really good first movie, if your second movie doesn't stand up to it, it's just like, you know, the first 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you be going, you know what? This was a waste of time. And I think that's a good example of that. So uh, there you go. What do you reckon, dude? Jeffro? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I didn't mind uh, Robocop 2, but yeah, I mean, it's such a high pedestal that, you know, it's going to look really bad when you've got a, a, a classic. So yep. uh, it. Um, mm. It had its moments. That's all I can really say is it had its moments. Yeah. I just remember seeing it. You see it in the cinema because, yeah, obviously, you saw everything in the cinemas back then. And you go in, you walk out, and you go, yeah, don't need to see that one again. Yeah, move on. Stick with the original. And, and, and if you have that attitude, then clearly it hasn't done what it was meant to do, which is, like, oh, wow, this is even better than the first. Nah, not even close. So of those three that I just mentioned, I reckon probably Predator 2 is probably the best of the uh, sequels for that particular period. So there are other movies that came out in 1990, but I'll just stick with that for now. So um, there you go. Uh, we're at 9 o'clock, dude. Did you want to mention anything else, or do you want to mention what year we're going to be covering off for the next episode? Well, I want to jump in a couple more films that came out that have been mentioned, including a far, a fair few more sequels as well. So Home Alone came out, Ghost. Dancing with Wolves, Pretty Woman, Ninja Turtles, the first one, uh, The Hunt for Red October, Die Hard 2, Dick Tracy, Edward Scissorhands, The Godfather Part 3, uh, one of my favourite films, Misery, uh, Darkman, Arachnophobia, Kindergarten Cop, uh, Three Men and a Little Lady, Young Guns 2, Rocky 5, Look Who's Talking 2, It and The Lord of the Flies remake. There you go. Very good. They were all and movies just, from there. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. No, that's it. They were all movies from there. Very good. Um, and I like uh, Carol mentioned earlier, on the fandom side, uh, yes, Hutcon was the big um, uh, NatCon for that year. So 
uh, for those who remember that particular event. Very good stuff. Now, j now finally get to ask, because we keep forgetting to do this, what year do you want to cover off in the next episode, old son? I don't know. I want to leave it to everyone else because uh, we'll see what they want to say. Now, we the ruling is we're not going to do any more 2000s uh, because they're all pretty pretty new sort of thing. Anything from 1999 back, uh, and I have my list here. So if someone picks a, a couple of days or a couple of years, I can check to see which one they are. Um, <laughs> well, it's not and, a tumor. And not, and not a tumor. It's not. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want you to answer them immediately. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Um, All right. So, yeah, you guys can pick. Pick a, a year and uh, we'll suss it out. Uh, we will eventually cover all the years at this rate. So um, <laughs> just throw yeah. some out. The most popular one will get picked. Okay. If we talk about 1977, we're not allowed to talk about Star Wars. So there you go. <laughs> just to be assholes about it. All right. So there you go. Anyway. <laughs> well, why not talk about 77 and let's um, let's see if we can uh, live up to that challenge and not talking about Star Wars. Yeah, it works for me because it's pretty obvious that it came out. Yeah, Some movie came out in 77. Move on. Yeah, yeah, no mention of Star Wars. How about that one, dude? 1977 is. All right, see you next week for a bit of Star Wars action on my Sicely Monthly. So until then, make sure you all stay nerdy. Okay, stay bye. Nerdy. Bye. See ya.